Today we will be going over the ICE-2 and ICE-3 MQTT configuration settings with client status in PDI. For published data, client status is published on power cycle or reboot and at a specific time interval. The PDI data is published at a rate determined by min and max intervals. The current PDO value is published at the same rate as the PDI and each port and value is published to a separate topic. For publishing client status, there is a setting for the client status interval. As you can see, the limits for that status is 0 to 999,999. Below, you can see the client status data, which is an example, and it shows the different variables that will be produced for each port. In this section, we will see the PDI data in action. If we click on the client, in a couple of seconds, we should see the PDI data being published. As you can see, it shows up down below with information in port one. And if we scroll down, we can see the information for each of the different ports. Now, if we look above, you can see that there are three different client statuses, and these are the three different times that the data has been published now for. If we click on the third one, we can see a different set of values that comes from the third publish. This next section is publishing PDI data. Below, you can see the PDI data publish interval, and that contains the interval min and the interval max. The process data publish interval min is the fastest rate data can be published. So if you have data that are, is being published at a fast rate and you want to slow that down, you can implement this interval min at a lower rate and the data will start to be published at this lower rate. So it is used to slow down fast changing data. Now the process data publish interval max will publish at this rate when data is not changing. So if you have data that is consistent for a long time and is not changing, and you want it to publish even though it's not changing, you can implement this interval max, which will force the data to publish even though it's not changing. It can also be called a heartbeat. We will now go into the fast changing photo eye. For fast changing data, the minimum interval between published data can be changed. The default is 1000 milliseconds or one second. We will change it to 250 milliseconds so it is published at four times a second when it is changing rapidly. Moving the photo eye quickly at this setting will make the data publish at four times a second. Next, we have slow changing data. For slow changing data, the maximum interval between published data can be changed. The default is zero or no update. We will change it to one second so that the data is published every second. A slowly changing temperature sensor demonstrates this. No data is published at first when the setting is at zero, and then when it is changed to one, data is being published at every second. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned for our next video and have a great day.